Hello, I'm Nicola Davis and this is my shortlisted book, Scrimsley. It's got a beautiful cover by my friend Jackie Morris and as you can probably guess, Scrimsley is the name of this tiger and this is his story. He lives in a world where humans and animals can sometimes share their thoughts. He's orphaned at birth and he's the only survivor of his litter, but he's in the possession of a wicked circus owner, Cobret Majak. The good news is he has friends. A boy called Owl, a trick rider called Cal, who's on the run from twin assassins, the Palatine, a desert princess in disguise, and all of these characters have got to escape Cobret's clutches. But they're caught up in events much bigger than their own lives. War, assassination, environmental destruction, all of which are linked by tentacles of greed and corruption. So it's a big story and there's lots of excitement and danger. I love writing action sequences so there are fights and escapes and perilous journeys and heroic rescues to keep you turning the pages. But my characters are very real to me. They live in my heart. So Scrimsley isn't just about the action of an exciting plot, it's about the emotional journey that my characters take and their relationships with each other. I take as much trouble over my baddies as I do over my heroes. I love a good spine-chilling baddie and my story has quite a few good villains. So in addition to friendship and loyalty, love and loss, there is also betrayal and malice in the book. And animals, of course, a horse with a heart of gold, a chihuahua who thinks she's a wolf, a motherly hound, an eagle who's a couple of pancakes short of a stack, a brown bear and a couple of gorillas. All my main characters, the tigers, Grimsley, Cal, Owl and the Palatine, are in some way seeking an identity, trying to reconcile different sides of their own natures, something that I think all of us struggle with at some point in our lives. I think I've created a story that will completely transport you to its world. It will make your heart race, it will make you laugh, and it will make you cry. And it may also make you think a little bit about things in our real world that need to change. You don't have to be a child to read it. So far, adults seem to enjoy it as much as younger people. So, fingers crossed that you do too.